Hi there. Reading for who's on the roll here. Okay, so Aries, seventh house, and Mercury. Wow. So you have to reassess something, Aries. I see you reassessing a partnership. This is really heavily on your mind here. It's coming in. I feel like you're going to be thinking about partnerships, relationships, commitments, people that you work with and deal with, especially contractually. You're thinking about this. You're talking about this, or there's information coming in about this with you. So matters of the seventh house. This is about other this is about you and other people, but this is your natural opposite. So you're talking about something that you thought you would never want, or maybe this is the type of person you thought you'd never want kind of thing. All right, so who's in the energy? So we have a secret crush. Well, no wonder, a mask. Someone is hiding their feelings for you. With that secret crush, admirer, attraction, suitor, and butterflies, mask talks about concealing. So something is concealed. Someone has been lying about their feelings here. Okay, so is that what we're going to be talking about? So reconciliation coming out. Yeah. Social awakening. Someone's actually realizing that they miss you. This is like an epiphany for them. They're like, wow, I actually miss Aries. I really do feel something for them. It's kind of reaffirming their feelings for you. Okay. So Pluto, 11th house in Cancer. Where's Aries in this? What's that? Breakup. Your reading kind of looks like Sagittarius's reading. Hook up. So you hook up to break up. Yeah, this looks a lot like Sagittarius energy right now. They kind of had something similar, not quite, but yeah, maybe you're done with a Sag or you have it in your um, transits or you have a placement here that's important right now. Okay, so you had a hookup energy in your life. You had a casual relationship with someone. They were more like a friend. Someone was more like a friend, but you could have had benefits as well. So you were benefiting from a connection with a person. This is friends with benefits energy, but I'm seeing that it didn't work or something didn't work. And so you guys had to end a relationship. Maybe you separated because you had to go on a work trip or there was a separation because someone was busy with work and you guys kind of got distant is what I'm seeing but here even though there's distance involved especially um it looks like verbally and emotionally it's still being felt or someone's realizing how they feel okay someone wants to change your dynamic what is the dynamic anyway so you broke up with the friends with benefits but here they are or you're breaking up with a friends with benefits and someone's coming in again. Okay. Relationship roll the dice. Wow. So let me tell you this. Okay. Someone actually wants to be in a relationship with you, a bona fide relationship. Okay. They want to be commit committed. This is commitment energy that they're coming in with. I don't know how you're feeling about that here because you may be undecided yourself or you may not know about this. So that's what they've been thinking about. Someone's been thinking about you in association with relationship seventh house energy. Someone's thinking about your connection, what that is, what it means, what it has potential to be. And they haven't quite told you something yet. So this person is at a distance from you and they are looking at you with the eyes of a boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, whatever. They're, that's how they see you. Okay. But the thing is they're going to have to grow some, grow, they're going to have to grow a pair male or female to come forward. That's why, because right now it looks like people aren't really speaking. Give me one on Aries. So you're in the sixth house. Well, no wonder. So North node. So I'm getting that you have to get back to your routines. This could be, you know, the way that you diet, the way that you take care of your body, getting good rest, getting good exercise. This could be a focus for you right now, something to bring your health back into order. But I'm also getting the way that you, um, I'm hearing the way that you work. I don't know. Okay. The way that you function throughout the day, your routines are changing. You need to address this. You need to address your health, your well-being, um, mental, emotional, physical, all the above. It looks like it'll benefit all. 
okay, there may be a change in your day-to-day -day routines or habits or your schedule is different. You need to address that. This is something you're going to be pushed into. You could be changing your job even or you're considering this very heavily. So what's this? Yeah. So yeah, the sun. Wow. I'm also getting someone's questioning a friend. Whether you should spend time with this friend. Is this somebody that, you know, you vibe with or not? I'm getting that. There's some happier changes in your finances, though. It looks good. So you could be taking time off. You're planning for that. You're planning for a vacation or an outing. And it, you have a ton of fun. Now it's time to get back to things. Yeah, because I feel like your finances have reached a new peak or it will. And you're happy about this. I'm also getting someone's, I don't know why. Okay, maybe you know. Someone's sexuality is being questioned here. I don't know if it's yours, whoever's. Who's the person in the reading? Five of Wands, well, all right. So yeah, we've got some Virgo energy, Leo energy. This person's having difficulty with their own feelings right now and they're fighting themselves on that, especially because they have feelings. That's why, so I see, wow. They're, they're questioning if they're in love with you and they're wondering why they are. Like, how could I be in love with Aries? This is weird or this is uncomfortable. Like this person, they feel out of place. Maybe it's not requited. So this could be unrequited love or they're worried about that. They're doing a lot of reflecting on their feelings. They're trying to calm themselves down, but they're having difficulty because all they can think about is you. You may just want to sleep with them. You may just want, you know, the hog or you just want whatever, whatever you want. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Well, that's what they're, they're like, is Aries only seeing me like this? Does Aries only see me as this type of person, this type of partner? Because I actually think I'm falling in love with them. Yeah, that's what this person is saying. So show me Aries. Oh, wow. Well... I guess you're easy to love. Okay, Empress. Yeah, so I'm getting here. Um, you are. You feel like you need to adjust your body. I see you doing that. The thing is, you are still very attractive. You just, maybe you're questioning that or you're readjusting the way that you see yourself. You could have been down on yourself recently. You're going to get, you're going to snap out of it. I feel like maybe you've been comparing yourself to people or you've been feeling like not good enough here, but actually you have a lot to offer. People still see you as attractive. People are fawning over you. Okay. So maybe you're like, oh, I got too old or, you know, maybe I shouldn't have eaten that or done this thing now my body's like this or whatever it is okay but i see that you're fixing this so there's an adjustment in your mental actually tell me about this um five of wands person but you're not talking to this person apparently or you just don't really think about it yeah they have an ace of cups for you they feel like they're fighting to get to you that you guys may have a contentious relationship. This person could come off as kind of abrasive or maybe they make you feel this way. It's like, I don't really know what you're feeling. You don't really, you know, you could have conflicting feelings about them. It's like, sometimes I think you like me and sometimes I think you don't, or why do you act this way? They could act in weird ways to you, or it's kind of like, maybe it's teasing or they're mean or you can tell that they're frustrated but you don't know where it's coming from it's because they're falling in love with you and you don't see that all the time it's kind of like hidden behind like a mirage let's say okay tell me about the empress so yeah you're growing there's abundance coming in for you aries you have a lot of potential you have well people are fawning over you so you're gonna see it if you don't right now tell me about the empress yeah um something at work is gonna grow i see that okay yeah i'm also seeing like an earth sign baby or a child an earth sign child could be involved okay maybe you're just dealing with a younger earth sign could be what's this yeah so i feel like you don't know how you feel about someone so the person in the reading you don't know because maybe this subject has never been broached or you know you have a limit to how much you can deal with or put up with maybe you told them that you're like look i don't know if we could be friends maybe we shouldn't talk outside of that or we shouldn't talk anymore it could be something you've been thinking about plus you're really busy so what is aries doing with this page of pentacles it looks like you're keeping busy yeah Ten of Cups? Wow. So I feel like you've been focused on someone, but someone else is focused on you. 
So you're thinking about long-term, you're thinking about family, happiness, you know, maybe you're thinking about children, you're thinking about what that looks like, you know, your relationships. And somehow something's missing and you know you want to change it. Okay. Yeah. So you're the, wow. Okay, Aries, someone feels like you get a ton of attention because of your demeanor. Like you look like no nonsense. This is so interesting because they see you as emperor, but you're actually empress energy. So I don't know if you look intimidating. You have RBF, like resting B face or something like that but it's attractive. So I feel like this person sees you as carrying yourself very well. You're going to have success and you're getting a lot of attention for that. It's because of your demeanor. You know that you're the ish and this person sees you this way. It's like, damn, Aries is so confident. They're so sexy. Tell me about this emperor. Yeah. And the thing is, I feel like they think that you have zaddy energy, but you actually have like mommy energy. So I don't know. <laughs> so I don't know. They could be some kind of, um, misconception about your relationship right now that this person is experiencing like they could feel like well you know maybe Aries is the one who's supposed to be stepping up because that's their energy but you're just not going to because that's not what you're in you're not in that energy right now okay you're relaxing you're taking your time you know you're taking care of yourself and your body you're getting kind of slowly getting back to things or back to work well this person feels like you're just constantly go 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 or if you want something you get it and maybe you do but right now you're not in that energy so I feel like they misunderstand that here someone feels like you are so spoiled that you always get what you want and that's it that's final like Aries can have whoever they want they can do they can get whatever they want okay how does okay wow so the five of swords yeah I feel like this person kind of made you feel that they need space for whatever reason maybe they didn't intend that yeah, see, I told you they were kind of like teasing or maybe they say like mean things to you or they spark debates, something like that. Like you feel like this person, they love their space. They have difficulty getting along with people. This could be a Virgo with that um, nine of pentacles energy and what we saw here. They, they kind of make people argue or this is what they've done with you, okay? And you just wanted to relax. You could have felt like someone just said too much or they do too much at times. And it's like, I don't know who you are to me right now. So this is confusing. Why do you act like this? Well, it's because they like you. Someone's teasing you or being like kind of feisty with you because they like you. It could be that they're stirring up some drama here and hidden behind that is their feelings. So now this person kind of wants to come clean about that. They want to come clean about how they feel, but you're just seeing them as like, well, you act that way because you want to be alone or you want space or you don't like people or something like this. Okay. You feel like this person could be a little opportunistic. Like they took advantage of people or situations, but that's it. Like, I don't know. Okay, let me see. It's actually that they like you. Yeah, it's an earth sign or something. So this person is kind of, maybe you feel that they're not usually very excitable. They usually stay in one place or they're very slow to kind of make choices and decisions. They don't like going out the house or they don't like a ton of like rambunctiousness. But then when you talk to them, they start, they start that. Okay. So, yeah. So you feel like this person's kind of like homely or they like staying home. They enjoy themselves. They make good money. They support themselves or they're comfortable in whatever they're experiencing. This person is kind of solo, but they have whatever they need to survive. Okay. You may feel like you guys at one point had a ton of passion between you, but you don't anymore. How does this person? Yeah, I feel like something's getting mundane. Yeah, world card. Okay, yeah. Someone feels like you kind of iced them out, that you don't want them anymore, or like you're not interested. Give me one on this world. You've been real secluded with them because you. someone feels like you're already happy where you are. Maybe you're considering someone for a relationship or you're considering someone for a long-term relationship or that's what they 
they're thinking about because that's what they want with you. Let me just tell you straight up, this person wants to do away with all the drama so you guys could get married. It's like that. This person wants to live with you. They want a traditional kind of arrangement with you. They want to close the gap here and come towards you and they want more stability, but they feel like you're kind of isolated in a way. They see you as like someone they want to be with. So you have judgment. What's that? Okay, lovers. That's interesting. Now, that's the thing too, because I feel like, yeah, the two of swords. If you hear anything, it's animals in here. Wait, did I say that yet? Oh, well. They breathe. Um, okay. Interesting. Here's the thing too. I feel like you're kind of in a space where someone wants you to choose or you have options before you, but you want to take it easy. You don't feel like a rush to have to like choose a partner or choose a situation. I just feel like you're thinking about it a lot or maybe you already did make your choice. Okay. It's like, this is where I am. This is where I want to be. I'm not really trying to change my mind. So I feel like you could feel both ways about something or just undecided or like you you know, maybe you just feel unattached in a way. So let's see, what do you actually want with this person though? You want the two of cups, so you like them, wow. So the two of pentacles, ace of wands. Okay, so I see that you like being around this person. They bring good company, they bring good D, or they bring good V, okay? That's what this energy is coming in about you, Aries. You do kind of, you put this person in a category of casual. So whatever that is for you, even if you're not physically with this person, that's what your energy is talking about, that kind of relationship. Like you do feel comfortable with them, you do feel a connection with them, and you want to maintain it. At this point, it does look like a new beginning is coming in. You could feel kind of excited or someone's getting excited about that. So what kind of relationship is this? Okay, it's with a king of pentacles. I also see that your relationship with your money is increasing. So you need to be consistent or you're about to be. You're going to go from the page to the king. You're going to increase your income or your assets. Something is growing about you or your potential is huge. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, so yeah, there's continuity here with you and a partner. There's earth sign energy. There's, yeah, there's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There's Cancer. And they're Sagittarius, so maybe you're juggling people or they're coming in, okay? That's why you have this choice to make. So where's this person in the energy? Eight of Wands, so they're coming in. The Eight of Cups, and then they're leaving. All right, so let me just tell you right now that this person's gonna put on a show. They're gonna pretend that they don't care. They're gonna hit you up, say certain things, and then leave. Or they're gonna like withhold, and they're doing it so that they're gonna trigger you, or they're trying to trigger you. This is like subterfuge, or it's under the surface. Someone is not being vulnerable, and that's why the situation is not working. Maybe somebody doesn't know how to show love, or somebody doesn't know how to connect with people. Someone here, they're used to like playing games, mind games, or used to manipulation that's what they that maybe that's their love language but something is kind of toxic about this maybe you know that okay so if someone's gonna get jealous I don't know if you're talking to somebody else it kind of looks like that now maybe that's why but someone feels like you don't really care they're jealous they're gonna say some things could be a little spicy okay so you may want to continue your relationship with this person in kind of like a casual way or you know you just want to see where things go could be or you're dealing with somebody else entirely and maybe you're dealing with multiple situations and you want to maintain your life right now that's what your mo is you're the empress okay you are taking care of your energy it's not necessarily about other right now unless you have a child so that's what this is and this person's making it about you and they're trying to get you in your feelings. They're trying to make you sorry. They're trying to make you feel like you're going to miss them if they're gone. Okay. You're going to miss me when I'm gone. And you're like, okay, prove it. That's what this is. So what's the next energy going to happen? Death. Knight of wands. Okay. Nine of swords. See, because they're afraid to confess to you. Like someone is afraid to tell you something. They feel like it's not going to be received well. What's going on? Why is this person afraid? They. Someone thinks you like someone else. 
yeah, they feel like you don't want them. Maybe you already told them that. Someone's um, being a little dramatic. There's Leo energy here. Okay, so they're referring to Leo energy. Okay, so I do feel like someone has you kind of messed up right now, Aries. They have you misunderstood. But, okay. Yep. So here's the deal too. After all this, they're going to, you know, make you feel some certain ways or attempt to. They're going to come back and try to make things right. And then it's going to happen again. Thank you, Aries. Check your other placements. I'll see you next time.